Right, so I'm just going to show you why I'm choosing to use Ethernet, and what, this is why I've wired up this connection here. So I haven't got it plugged in at the moment, but I'm on Wi-Fi. Now, if I do a speed test I'm over Wi-Fi, depending on the frequency of the Wi-Fi, I will get about this sort of speed. So I've got two Wi-Fi access points here. Um, one is sort of mixed 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and one is just flat 5 gigahertz so I'm just going to switch it to the, the, the 5 gigahertz um, connection this is why dual band Wi-Fi is important so 2.4 gigahertz is um, the Wi-Fi sort of um, frequency that we've been using for many years and it, it, it travels well um, but the speed that you get out of it with modern fast sort of virgin cable connections um, it, it doesn't quite get up to the speed that you would maybe expect from your virgin cable. Uh, but it travels further. Now, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi has higher throughput, but it doesn't travel quite as far. It doesn't get through walls and it doesn't have the distance and the range that you would expect. So I'm going to do the odd few speed tests here. And you can see it's probably going to get to about 120, maybe 140 maybe 130 there we go so this is over 5 gigahertz wi-fi now for normal browsing and you know sort of youtube this is fine and this is what you're going to get on your phone however if you're an ardent gamer then having ethernet really is um probably what you're going to want to use so i'm going to plug my ethernet cable into to my port and this is going to go on the wall into a proper socket so now you can see i'm on ethernet so down here on my little tiny chromebook we have connected to Ethernet. I'm going to do that same speed test again, and we'll see, and you can see immediately the speed difference. So I'm getting 410 megabits per second, which is, I'm not going to tell Virgin, but I'm, I'm only paying for about 300 megabits per second, but I'm getting 400 and something. So this is the speed that I'm getting from my Virgin cable connection, and this is the speed that's delivered to the house. And this is not the speed, that you're getting through your Wi-Fi. You're only getting about a quarter of this through your Wi-Fi connection. So this is why if you're a gamer uh, or you want to do some serious sort of um, internet work, whether it be through video footage or whatever, you really need to use Ethernet.